What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here. Today is Tuesday, that means it's time for the weekly Nightfall Strike solo. Last week I did it a little bit late, I'm glad that you guys tuned in for it anyway. This week, we're back fighting Tanix on the moon, so it's the new strike for the Dark Below, and we got a pretty interesting set of modifiers here. We've got Epic, we've got Nightfall, we've got Void Burn and Solar Burn, and Grounded. Players take more damage while airborne. Uh, so that's going to be something to keep in mind while you're playing this strike. You definitely want to stay on the ground as much as possible. Real quick, I'm going to show you the loadout I'm going with. I am going with a Defender Titan with a Helm of Saint-14, so it's a blinding bubble. So if I get into any trouble by oncoming enemies, they'll be blinded. They won't be able to hurt me, uh, and I'll be able to get myself out of trouble. And uh, I bet that will come up quite a few times. There's a couple of areas where enemies do tend to rush you quite a bit. For weapons, I'm going to go with Vision of Confluence. I've upgraded this to 365. I'm also going to go with the Black Hammer, again upgraded to 365. And finally, Galahorn. This makes this fight so much easier. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff that you're going to have to kill very quickly. And if you don't have to be popping behind cover with a sniper rifle, if you can just throw out a Galahorn, it's much easier. If you don't have a Galahorn, I'd highly recommend the Word of Crota. Hopefully you have that. Uh, that's a good second best in this situation so that's gonna do it let's head on down to the planet and get this strike started up all right guys we have landed on the moon it's time to get this strike started uh i'm going to just bum rush the door right through these shriekers because i don't really have any interest or cause for fighting them so i'm just gonna run right through uh it just takes forever to fight those guys with their death blasts and running away from those things and all that so our first encounter is going to be right around the corner here. You're going to have a wizard and two knights. And this shouldn't be an issue, frankly. Uh, it's not like it was a couple of weeks ago. The first time we did the strike with uh, Arkburn, these knights were actually relatively dangerous because, you know, they like to rapid fire those boomer blasts. But since it's not an Arkburn week... It's just not as dangerous. Alright, and moving on. There is a couple of Cursed Thralls down here at the bottom. Be careful of those. Watch your radar before you come down so you don't get blown up. Uh, and our next room is going to have one wizard, two... Uh, ogres, and I think there's a couple of captains in here as well. The nice thing about this room is that the enemies are fighting each other, and they're frankly very distracted. Uh, the most dangerous thing here are the ogres. They are doing uh, void burn. There's one there. So just be very careful that they don't start shooting at you, and that you're not so far away from cover that you can't quickly get to cover all right one's down should have another one it's probably right around the, there it is right there all right he's dead and we just clean up the rest of the room and uh, I gotta tell you guys, I am loving this gun since I upgraded it to 365. This is the Vision of Confluence. If you're not familiar with it, it's available from the Vault of Glass. I believe you have to do... Uh, I'm not sure that actually... I'm not sure if you have to do hard mode or not to get it. But it is a very, very good gun. It waned in popularity during the Dark Below era. Um... But now that Etheric Light can up it to 365, you need a Solar Burn Primary. This thing is very effective. In fact, I have been looking and re-rolling Scout Rifles, trying to get a very good PvP Pulse Rifle. And what I want is something that has full auto and high stability so that I don't have to hit the trigger every time I want to fire because that tires my finger out quite rapidly uh, but I have been unable to roll anything that I like as much as this gun which I already have which is kind of crazy this gun is very very good 
obviously for a solar burn nightfall it's amazing in the prison of elders same deal I'm running out of ammo for it very quickly so I'm gonna switch over to black hammer see if I can get something done on this captain ah, I missed already Not as big a fan of the Black Hammer as I am of Ephrodite Spear. They both have similar damage models. But the restrictions on the Black Hammer, to me, make it kind of a pain in the neck to use. Picked up a little ammo there. Skola should be out relatively soon here. Not Skolas. <laughs> Tanix. Oh, stuck on something there. I can't back up. But yeah, I, I can't seem to roll a scout rifle with full auto on it that I like as much as the Vision. One of the things I love about the Vision is it's got very good stability, especially with this sight on it. That makes it a joy to use in the Crucible. Right, here's the big boy. Unfortunately, I missed my first headshot. Uh, Gallahorn burns him very, very quickly. Just so you know. Uh, and he's already immune, so that was basically a wasted shot. So that's going to do it for this room. We're going to head up the elevator. Start our next encounter. Out, guardian, you are challenged in the ways of old. Tanix is jamming our comms. Fight well, guardian. Fight for honor. I like Varix quite a bit. I think he's kind of fun. I know people are annoyed with his voiceover, but I think he's fun. Uh, to get this encounter started, you basically have to run out to the middle of the room. And then I'm going to run back to the doorway I entered the room at. Use this for a safe area. Uh, the biggest problem here is not actually Tanix. He's not that big a problem at all to deal with. I think a couple of Gallahorns will make him take off. It's the wolf captains that drive me crazy. He's still there. Let's see if a couple of black hammers. Wrong weapon. Got some shanks. Shanks aren't too bad if you got the vision of confluence because one shot takes down their shield and the next shot kills it. Uh, as opposed to nightfalls when arc burn is the deal and you put in four shots to take down the shield. And then one shot kills it. So we have a captain just firing in here, and since solar burn is a thing, that captain's really dangerous. But I found that if you kind of move over here, let that door close, he will stop kind of rapid firing into you. But the trick is to take those guys down. Uh, kind of in one barrage of gunfire. Otherwise, they can be kind of a pain in the neck. Uh, I 
missed him. Tanix is still over there. I think what I'm going to do is just use up a little heavy here. Make my life a little easier. Alright, the music has stopped. That means Tanix has finally took, taken off. Uh, there will be some ads that continue to spawn in, though. So you got to be careful of them. And then we'll bum rush you if you kind of walk out. You can see these guys coming up the stairs here. Even though light switch isn't on, with that many enemies coming at you all at once, they can kill you really rapidly. So just be careful. Once Tanix leaves, understand that there's... Still a little bit of danger here. And that should pretty much wrap it up. Oh, we got another guy down there. Iron Banner recently hit, so of course I'm low on Glimmer, so <laughs> picking up anything I can find. Also, don't forget to use uh, consumables if you need some Glimmer. It's a good time to use them. You generally get a lot of kills while you're doing a Nightfall, and the Majors are worth a lot of extra Glimmer. So this is the area, basically, that's going to give most people the most problems. Um, with a team, there are a couple of sort of safe spots that you can use to make this a little easier. One of them uh, is above this door here. There's a platform right above here that you can use with a team to kind of revive and make it a little bit easier to stay alive. Uh, as a team, it's pretty easy to use that balcony over there as well. Uh, snipers will spawn on that balcony, but if you just kind of know that and take care of them as soon as they come out, they're really not that da dangerous. And then you can use that balcony to do quite a bit of damage to the spider tank once he comes out. I thought that guy was still alive. biggest issue right now is going to be that captain. I want to take these captains out as soon as possible. And if I start getting into trouble, I'm going to pop my war to dawn. One more. Come on, one more. Get him. There we go. You can see how much anything that does solar damage is going to do a ton of damage. So try and prioritize those guys. I'd love to get rid of this captain as quickly as possible before he burns me down. But those shields, they do take a lot out of you. All right, our War to Dawn is done, but you can see I've almost got it refilled already. I'm just going to run and grab this heavy ammo. Be very careful not to get hit while you're jumping around. I'm going to try and stay as grounded as possible here. You can take out that gun. Make your life a little easier. That's some ex 
exploders. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna pop my ward dawn because I'm down on health. This is bad. Those guys got really close to me. Alright. We survived just barely. Let's make him pay. I would have preferred not to use that War to Dawn right there, but those exploders were coming at me a little faster than I can actually deal with them. Try and do some damage to the tank. Tank is caught in some kind of loop here. And I'm taking a run, because I'm super low on health. Be very careful about jumping. Finish him off right here. Not sure why that didn't proc. Alright, so the spider tank is gone. There is going to be some ads coming in that we got to be worried about. Uh, they'll come out that door right over there. Looks like we've got them all. There's still one more over here somewhere. There he is. Alright, and if you've ever done this strike before, I'm sure you're familiar with Tanix actually spawning in this room. So as soon as I hear him spawn, I'm taking off because now that he's doing solar damage, he is much scarier. We're going to be very slow and methodical. There, he's still there. I'm going to hit him with Galhorn if he's going to stand there. And let's do a little heavy. Let's move up a little bit. With a little bit of care, this strike really isn't that difficult. The most difficult part is now behind us. It can be a little bit overwhelming. Oh, he already came all the way down. So what I'd like to do is burn him as quickly as possible here. And I'm definitely using Gallahorn to do so. All right, here we go. Wow, he uh, does a lot more damage than he used to. So as soon as I get eyeball on him, now the issue here are going to be the ads that spawn in. He's gone to that back corner right over there. And ads are going to start spawning. And you can see those ads spawning now. So what we want to do is use this area for protection, but it's not going to offer that much protection if you can't keep up with the ads.
Did see some heavy drop there. I doubt that it's worth it to go out there and get it, though. Shanks were really, really dangerous. Oh, okay. That's something coming up behind us. This is a blinding bubble. But we're not going to mess with that wolf captain. him down as quickly as possible. He dropped heavy for us. That's great. We're really lucky. We can burn down Tanix before the next captains come in. Alright, he spawned over there. He is almost dead. That ought to do it. Alright, so that's basically it. Uh, it's not the toughest strike to solo, that's for sure. Uh, especially if you have high damage weapons. Galahorn comes to mind, obviously. Black Hammer, but any high damage solar or void uh, sniper is really going to help you here. Vision of Confluence, I feel like, is a great weapon for this strike this week. Because it gives you the option to kind of keep your distance. Alright, so, as you all know, I am really looking forward to getting the Monte Carlo. And I hope this is my week. So let's see, 157 kills, 0 assists, and what the hell is this? <laughs> all fate. I believe this is the same freaking gun I got last week. That's terrible. Body shots with this weapon increase precision damage for a short time. That's actually a really good perk. Melee kills with this while this weapon is equipped have a chance to refill the magazine. That's actually not a bad set of perks. I might hold on to that. I might at least level it up. See how it performs in the Crucible. But man, I was really hoping for an exotic. That's for damn sure. So that's going to wrap this one up, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.